Finding Polaris. My name is Charlie Haffey, and I am an elementary science teacher for the Norwood Public Schools. The Little Dipper. It is also known as Ursa Minor or the Little Bear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars make up the Little Dipper. And if you played Connect the Dots, you could imagine a giant soup ladle or a big spoon or a funny frying pan up in the sky. The last star in the Little Dipper is Polaris. Part of the problem is that these four stars here are very, very dim. And most of the time, we can't see them in the night sky. That's because of something called light pollution. That's when light bounces off the earth from houses and streetlights and cars, and it makes the dimmer stars disappear. Not only that, but Polaris is the 50th brightest star. So you just can't go outside and go, oh, there's Polaris because it's so bright. It's not that bright at all. What we need is the Big Dipper. And the Big Dipper is part of Ursa Major or the Big Bear. And the Big Dipper has seven stars also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you connect the dots, you can imagine a big frying pan, which is why they call this the Big Dipper. Alcade, Mizar, Alioth, Magrez, Hecta, Merak, and my favorite, Dubi. I love Dubi. So if we look at these stars, the most important ones for us will be Merak and Dubi, and they are called the pointer stars. They're going to point right to Polaris for us. So if Polaris is out in the sky, and it'll be out in the sky every night, all you need to do is to find the Big Dipper to find Polaris. And if you go and find Merak, and then you find Dubi, you go from Merak to Dubi, and then you keep going five times that distance. One, two, three, four, five. And then you'll find Polaris, which, as you remember, is the tail of the Little Dipper. There's a couple of important things about Polaris. Polaris is above the North Pole of the Earth. The Earth seems to spin underneath Polaris. If you're looking towards Polaris, you're facing true north. Not magnetic north, but true north, the north that would be at the top of a compass rose. There's uh, something interesting. We have the horse and the rider in the Big Dipper. And if you look at these seven stars, the key star for us today is going to be Mizar. Now, Mizar has another star very close to it that's smaller. And the horse and rider are in the Big Dipper. The horse is Mizar. The rider is Alcor. And if you find these seven stars, well, here's a photograph of those seven stars. Mizar is the bright one that you can see without binoculars. And right next to it is a star, Alcor, that can be seen with binoculars or with any kind of a telescope. Mizar is the horse. Alcor is the rider. You've been watching Finding Polaris. My name is Charlie Haffey, and I am an elementary science teacher for the Norwood Public Schools.